In this video, we'll be taking a look at Filter Shaper 3 by Cable Guys. A filter volume and pan modulation plugin, we'll be exploring how we can use the highly editable LFOs to modulate a number of different parameters on the plugin. We'll also look at how we can route the modulation on the plugin, set it up as an advanced dual band sidechain effect for mixing duties, and dive around some of the ever expanding presets the plugin has to offer. So I have an instance of Filter Shaper 3 loaded onto this bass sound here. Let's load a filter into the first filter slot, loading this 12 dB clean low pass filter. Any of the parameters with the little circle next to the parameter means that they can be modulated by either one or two LFOs and an envelope follower. In this first LFO slot for the cutoff frequency, let's load a sine wave to shape the modulation. The moment with tempo synced, we can change the speed of the modulation in the second drop down. For more precise editing of the LFO waveform, it's easier to expand the view. Clicking and dragging on one of the nodes, we can move it around. Or control clicking, we can add extra nodes. With the magnet button highlighted, the snap to waveform grid means we can get more precise movements on the nodes. We also have a couple of other options for waveform shapes, as well as randomizing the existing waveform points. We can also activate step draw mode, depending on the type of modulation movement that we want to set up. Right clicking on the waveform, we get a couple of options for quickly horizontally flipping the waveform or flipping it vertically. Let's change this LFO from being tempo synced to free running. Now we get an extra speed control for the LFO down here. That we can actually modulate as well. Let's speed up this modulation and maybe flip it. So now this LFO down here is modulating the cutoff frequency of the filter. Then this LFO is modulating the speed of the first LFO to speed up with each new key press at the rate of 1 over 2. Let's set up another filter in the second filter slot now. Go for a 24 dB clean high pass filter. With the filter set up in serial mode, the audio will pass through the first filter, which will directly affect the input of the second filter, which then routes to the output. Filter Shaper 3 features some quite handy options for copying and pasting and connecting LFO shapes. I can copy this first LFO that's directed to the filter 1 cutoff. Now either paste it or paste and connect onto this second LFO slot, which is modulating the high pass filter here. By selecting Paste and Connect, the two LFOs are now linked together, so any edits I make in one will edit the other. I can click the link button again to disconnect them. And also, we get two LFO slots for each modulator.
Meaning we can apply some really unique modulations. Let's look at applying some envelope modulation as well to the second filter. I'm going to push the intensity all the way up, not the intensity down for the two LFO modulators, but back the attack off and push up the hold and decay. So now when we press a key, the sound will filter out with a slow attack, slowly filtering the sound. Now let's take a look at this chord sound I have in the project. Explore how we can use Filter Shaper 3 as a dual band sidechain effect. I'm going to begin by setting up a 6 dB clean low pass filter on the first filter slot and a 6 dB clean high pass filter in the second filter slot. I'm going to change the filter route into parallel now so it routes through both filters at the same time. And let's link the two filters together. We've effectively split the sound into two. This first volume control controls everything up to 729 hertz. Whilst the second volume control controls everything above 729 hertz. Let's go to this first volume control and play this chord sound with our beat. Now let's use this volume control in combination with an LFO to dot the low frequency on our chord sound when the kick drum plays. The beat's looping over a two bar sequence, so I'm going to change the beat loop length to two bars expand the waveform view and use the step draw mode to knock out the low frequency whenever the kick drum plays. Take off step draw mode and tweak these envelope shapes. Now let's push the intensity up to 100%. We can of course change the cutoff points here. So now everything below this frequency that we set here is being ducked. Let's now turn our attention to the volume control on our high pass filter. Push the intensity up all the way. Change the beat loop length to two bars. And let's use this to dock the high frequency when the snare plays. Again, tweaking the envelope. You can see we can use Filter Shaper 3 in multiband mode, it's a very effective mixing tool. Finally, let's dive around some of the presets the plugin has to offer. There is an ever-expanding list of presets that you can load up. developer presets along with user presets. You can easily save your own. And once you save your own, if you sync them, they'll be uploaded for other people to access. And of course, once you've loaded a preset, you can go in and start tweaking, customizing it. Be sure to check out Filter Shaper 3 by Cable Guys, which is available now at adsrsounds.com.